Unity and coherence. A paragraph must have unity. A paragraph has unity when all the sentences support a single idea. The topic sentence. The paragraph must have one controlling idea in the topic sentence. Otherwise, the paragraph loses focus. The supporting sentences must support or explain the controlling idea with examples, details, steps, or definitions. Otherwise, the paragraph will not be about one single idea. And the concluding sentence should restate the idea in the topic sentence. Otherwise, the main idea might not be clear. Analysis for unity. Let's take a look at how the topic sentence and supporting sentences are linked. And if the supporting sentence gives more information about the topic sentence. Let's take a look at the topic sentence. My friend, Macarena is generous. Now the supporting sentences should generally give a definition, an example, or an explanation of the topic sentence. Let's take a look. She often lets travelers stay in her home. She has hosted many students temporarily. She sends money to her family in Chile every month to help them with their bills. She always brings flowers or food to her friends when they are sick or have a need. Now, the concluding sentence should simply restate the main idea within the topic sentence and or expand upon it. Let's take a look. The concluding sentence reads, Macarena is one of the most generous people I know. Note that all the sentences are about Macarena's generosity. A sentence about the way she looks or about her job will not support the unity of the paragraph unless it somehow relates to Macarena's generosity. If you recall, the topic sentence was about Macarena's generosity. The supporting sentences gave more examples of her generosity and the concluding sentence simply restated the main idea, which is why a sentence about the way she looks or about her job will not support the unity of the paragraph as a concluding sentence unless it somehow relates to Macarena's generosity. The Pink Sheep. Let's take a look at this paragraph. I'll read it for you. Many years ago, a special gift came to me in an interesting way. When I was a small boy, I enjoyed playing in my garden. One day, I found a hole in the wall of my garden. It was near the ground, so I could not see through the hole, but I knew that behind the wall was my neighbor's garden. Who made that hole? I felt really interested. So I used rocks to make the hole wider. One day, when I was trying to break through the wall, I noticed a small hand appear from the hole. The hand was holding a rubber sheep. It was pink and it had wide eyes. I caught that rubber sheep. Then I pushed my favorite wooden truck through the hole to give to that child on the other side. Sometimes I bought toys with my lucky New Year money. As you can see, this sentence does not match. It does not give more information about the topic sentence, which is why you see that it is crossed out. It is not related. Since it is not related, it goes against unity or togetherness of the paragraph. I'll continue reading. A long time later, when I was old enough to go out, I went around the corner to find the child who gave me that special gift. But nobody was in that house. My neighbor said that a girl used to live there and she was the same age as me. I never found her, but her gift has a special meaning for me. Analyzing the above paragraph for unity. Exercise 2, page 13. Examine the organization of the paragraph by answering the questions below. Circle the topic and underline the controlling idea. Many years ago, a special gift came to me in an interesting way. In this sentence, a special gift is the topic, and the controlling idea is came to me in an interesting way. One sentence in the paragraph is off topic and does not support the unity of the paragraph. Draw a line through it. I will go back to the slide so you can see it. Sometimes I bought toys with my lucky New Year money. This sentence does not support the unity of the paragraph and it is off topic. And does this hurt the unity of the paragraph? Yes, absolutely.